Hello again everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Warrior 3 for the Game Boy Color. This is Vortex 259. And since the last time we met, I've done a little bit of level grinding. You can see I've gotten Hero up to level 16 now. Pete and Matt are now level 17. That was about, so oh, about 30 minutes or so worth of level grinding. Not too terribly bad. I believe Matt's learned a new magic spell. He learned the Blaze More spell. That's a large fireball. Does a lot more damage than the normal Blaze spell, and we'll demonstrate that in an upcoming battle here a little later. So, uh, yeah, I'm a little bit stronger now. I actually found some new monster medals during my time grinding. We found the Heat Cloud last time. That's number 42. Uh, let's see, I got the Druid Medal, number 35, Dead Stool. 38, Hunterfly 39, and the Deadhound number 40. So I've got 38 total monster medals now, so making some pretty good progress there. Last time we met, we were making our way down to the south on the eastern side of the Hobbit Norad's cave, and uh, we were making our way through this desert. So let's continue and see if we can find that village that awaits us down here. Well, let's go ahead and demonstrate this enemy. I don't think I demonstrated it last time. The dead stool. Uh, those are, I guess, undead mushrooms. They can cast the ice bolt spell on your party. So, uh, probably best to take them out as quickly as possible. The uh, hunterfly can also cast the fireball spell, as we saw last time. Let's try that uh, blaze bore spell on the hunterfly there. If Pete doesn't take it out first. Oh, good, he didn't. Otherwise, the dead stools, I guess their normal attacks aren't very strong. As you can see, they only did three points worth of damage to one of my characters there. Now there's the dead stool trying to cast the ice bolt spell. That does a lot more damage. Oh, that's a pretty cool animation. 79 points of damage. Wow, I like that Blazemore spell. Alright, hopefully Hero will take out the rest here. Uh, not quite. Oh uh, well, we'll get them here this round really quick. There we go. Took out all the dead stools and we get 116 experience points, 185 gold. And look at that, there's the new village. We've made it. So let's go in here and see if we can find some pepper. This lady says this is the town of Baharata. Welcome to Baharata. I've always liked saying that. Well, let's uh, see what we've got here. Well, apparently we've got some shops here. Pepper, the shop just to the south of here sells it. Oh, okay, so we can find Pepper here in Baharata. Anyway, this guy sells weapons and armor, so let's see what we can purchase here. Well, I want to go ahead and get the shears for Glenn. You can see that will take his attack up nine points. So I'm gonna go ahead and equip that on him. And I do want to get some other things. Uh, let's see, I want to get four magic shields. Uh, the magic shields will actually give you a little bit of defense against magic spells. I'm going to get four of those. I'm going to go ahead and get two steel armors, one for Hero and one for Glenn. And is there anything else I can get? I guess that's all I can get for now. So I'm going to take care of that real quick and I'll meet right back up with you. Okay, I went ahead and spent some time purchasing all that new equipment and selling off all my old stuff too. Uh, you can see I got Hero and Glenn, the steel armor and the magic shield. Also got a magic shield for both Pete and Matt. And that's actually Matt's first shield he's obtained since the pot lid way back at the beginning of the game. So he got quite a substantial increase to his defense there by equipping that. Also went ahead and uh, took some time and went to the inn and recovered my HP and MP. So we should be good to go. All right, well, let's uh, spend some time exploring the town of Baharata here. If you go to the north, you can find the church there, should you require their services. And this shop east of the weapon shop is the item shop. You can get some herbs and other run-of-the-mill items. So I went ahead and purchased some herbs there, and I think I've got 25 in the bag now. All right, well, apparently the pepper shop is just south of the weapon shop here, so let's see if we can go purchase some pepper and take it back to the King of Portoga and get us a ship. Well, uh... Looks like the shopkeeper's not there. What's up with that? Maybe this guy can clue us in. This guy came to buy some pepper, but they won't sell him any. Apparently the shop's girl was abducted. Oh no, another crisis. Ah, uh, what to do? Well, I guess uh, Hero's work is never done. I guess we're gonna have to see about uh, getting the shopkeeper's daughter back. Well, let's uh, ask around here, see if we can get a little bit more information. 
Uh, this guy tells us about the Force Rod, which is a unique weapon that changes MP into attack power. It consumes MP, but it's useful if spells can't be cast. Yeah, you can actually purchase those in the weapon shop. I didn't purchase one, but uh, they're pretty handy, I guess, if you wanted to equip one on your mages and have some good attack power at the expense of some MP. Well, let's go upstairs here into the shopkeeper's house. Uh, looks like nobody's home. So that gives us a chance to loot their dresser here and we can get a traveler tunic. And we can get a little bit of gold by selling that off. All right, well, let's uh, see what else we can find here in town. Uh, going up onto the northern side of town, this is where the inn is. And if we go into the inn and talk to this gentleman here, he tells us in the north among mountains is the Dharma Temple. People can change classes there. I'd like to become a jester. Oh, well, you've got lofty goals in life, friend. <laughs> I mean a great sage. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's what I'd like to be. So yeah, you can change your uh, class apparently uh, in a temple to the north called the Dharma Temple. And we'll be checking that out in the not too distant future. Well, if we check this dresser here, we can find tiny metal number 25. All right. Five more and I can get that strength ring. All righty. Well, maybe we can go get some more information if we explore in the southern part of town. So let's go to the south here and go into this guy's house and talk to him. I've heard that kidnappers have holed up in a cave on the other side of the bridge. Oh, okay, well that's a good clue. For your own sake, stay away. Well, no, I think I'm gonna go check it out. That may be where the kidnappers took the shopkeeper's daughter. A cave east of the bridge. Well, if we check this dresser, we'll get another token. Very good. And let's see. Yeah, let's go down to the south here. Go check out this uh, shrine, I guess it is. This lady tells us the Demon Lord wishes to destroy all life. He is the ruler of a dead world that is always frozen in darkness. If his power is left unchecked, the world's people will soon feel the horror of his evil ambition. Yeah, wait for us, Baramos. One of these days you are going to be experiencing our hard cold steel and the power of our magic. Well, let's see, if we go down even further south, uh, before we talk to that old man, let's check and see what these people say. I'm purifying my body in the waters of the sacred river in prayer that I bear a healthy child. So apparently this is a sacred river. This guy traveled all the way here to see the sacred river, and its water is not only good for drinking, it's said to repel monsters. So I guess if we drink the water here, we can kind of get a repel effect. That's interesting. All right, let's see who this old man is. Travelers, please listen. My dear granddaughter Tanya was abducted by a gang of bandits. The young man there is Tanya's lover, Gupta. I had hoped that they would marry and take over my shop. Oh, okay, maybe this is the shopkeeper that sells pepper. You look strong, will you save Ta- I'll go. No, Gupta, don't go, we'll do it. How could you ask traveling strangers for help? Just wait, I'll rescue Tanya myself. Well, that guy looks a little wet behind the ears. He probably couldn't even defeat a slime, let alone a whole gang of thieves and kidnappers. So not only are we going to have to perhaps go rescue Tanya, but her lover Gupta as well. So that looks like the next quest. Yep, the hero's work is never done. So time to head east and see if we can find that cave where the kidnappers are holed up. All right, well, let's start heading that way. Uh, looking at the map here, we're not gonna go too terribly far to the east. We're actually just gonna cross the bridge and the cave should be just right up ahead. So let's start heading that way. There's the bridge. Oh, Gupta, trying to be the hero. All right, well, let's continue north and see if we can find that cave. Here's the bridge and there's the cave. So apparently we'll just need to go in here well, here's a new enemy we can fight, and it looks like they've got a preemptive strike on me. This is the ant bear, another anteater type monster, and they have pretty high attack power. So, uh, yeah, let's just take them out real quick using some some of our new weapons, and we'll have Matt cast the Firebane spell. 
Otherwise, uh, nothing really special about these guys. Wow, those uh, new shears that Glenn owns aren't too terribly shabby there. Uh-oh, my firebane spell didn't work. Curses. Well, we'll take them out this time, I bet. There we go. Defeated the ant bears. I'm going to get 110 experience points and 100 gold. All right, well, the next time we meet on Let's Play Dragon Warrior 3, we're going to go in this cave and see who kidnapped Tanya. Is Gupta safe? Well, we'll find out next time we meet. Thank you for watching today's video. This has been Vortex259, and we'll see you again next time.